M0 FXB, uh, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, Take no a look here. Senhei 8600. Quite a unique screen on this one. Red and white. But Why do people buy it? Looks really nice and different to what we're used to. Now this radio has been out for a few years now. It's one of the best radios I've ever used on airband. It's dual receive or dual monitor, VHF, UHF, but it also does PMR, GMRS, FRS, has a broadcast radio. If I just push this button here, that's your broadcast radio. Press it again. The menu is quite unusual. You press menu. And then you cycle across to your different functions, but it's really easy to add a memory channel. We exit. Now to go to memory mode, just hold menu. You can hear we're on Hubnet there. Signal meter that you can see. Uh, it's 30 plus with my node. Then we'll go to hold down the menu. Just turn it up so you can see what it says. Frequency mode, you go up and down, right to left. So we're in frequency mode, we can type a frequency now. Go 145600. Oh, but before I forget, it does have micro USB charging in the back of the battery. So it's not USB C, it's micro USB. But that's fine, those adapters are like £2. 2000 milliamp hour battery. Frequency mode, we can type the frequency and then to do your CTCSS, just go menu and you just go across. There's airband there. I'll just turn that up so you can hear it a bit better. Because uh, I've got it on dual watch at the moment. So you go across, menu, it does time out. You've got tools there, but one of them is called CTCSS, menu. You just enter your transmit one by pushing to the right transmit there it is exit a and b band just press the exit button goes up and down so we're on the a band then menu if you go across until it says frequency mode go right and then you can do your shift up and down go plus menu and then to add a memory channel, you just exit, keep going to the right, channel storage, choose your channel, you can, memory first, and then choose the channel, memory. And you store it, it's literally that easy. So no problem with using it. Twin PTT, so on the A band there, look. I'll go back to the A. I think it switched to the B then, because uh, there must have been a transmission, but anyway, A, and then you've got your PTT on the B band for your hand bands, PMRS, all that. I've noticed there's a shortcut if you just press this button here with a hash, CTCSS lights up. Also, if you press the PTT and type the DTMF command, that works. You've got a big LED, no torch in this model. The new model. The 8800 has a torch. I'm not sure if the airband on that is AM though. Someone let me know. And then yeah, you've got some more menus. Vox level. What's that one say? Settings, have a look there. Battery save, dual standby, scan mode. There you are. Scan mode as well. We'll have to do, we'll do a video doing scan mode. And that's it, so thanks for watching my channel. It's a nice solid device and everything is very clear on it. The speaker is one watt, it's a really loud one watt speaker. I'm quite bassy. Back to the um, node. Um, the um, traffic's all clear now, so uh, I've got past that little problem. Really good audio uh, reports. Twin uh, connector yeah, for your Kenwood Bofeng style microphone and programming and cable. And yeah, when you're programming it, use the software. For the 8800, that works fine, although RT Systems do make a dedicated one. Belt clip wrist strap. The top button is off and on and volume. So you're changing everything with the buttons here.
and the antenna works, the, uh, the supply antenna for me works really well. The aeroplanes come through really clear. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please remember to like and subscribe. 7-3.